Let's get over to my man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also, is a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You can run the newsletters. You can see Mastering Probability on the right-hand side. You get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. Six months for six ninety five, which is a savings of one hundred ninety nine dollars or twenty two percent, and one full year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred ninety three dollars or twenty three percent. Now they all come with a thirty day money back guarantee. Steve has a huge amount of tools on his site. Okay, so when you get the newsletter, you get the tools, you get the explanation, you get the whole ball of wax, and it comes with a thirty day money back guarantee. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? I'm in. I'll buy. I'll have to give it a shot. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I like it. I like it. Hey, yeah. So uh, I, no, I, I don't know. Did you guys get that the storm as bad as as we got it over here? I don't know. Was anybody spared in Florida? I don't think so. Uh, St. Oh, Pete wow. got it pretty bad. I mean, the, the, those flood areas in St. Pete flooded again. So they, they, okay. thank God that most of the homes. What happened, folks? Is that was it? Ida, which is a uh, I think. Four months ago or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that right. they got wiped out on that, and then, and then this one here though is about an inch of water. But those folks are going to be moving pretty soon because well, it's the the wind that we had over here was <laughs> extraordinary. I mean, it it was like we had a hurricane. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. a tropical storm. I mean, a lot of damage, a lot of power outages. I was mean, there's it? still people yeah. without power. Um, yeah, it was. It Winter was storms crazy, are so. tough, man. That's 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 the bottom line. You know that that water kicks up, man. And forget it. I, I've never heard the wind howling like that. I mean, oh, I was like, what yeah, the heck? you guys must have really got hit. We we had we had like 30, 35. It wasn't you know. Oh yeah, yeah. no. And then and then you know gotta love gotta love Florida, right? Because you get that storm and whoosh, it blows right out of here. You know, you got perfect, almost perfect weather. And the sun you know, comes out. No, I know. Right. It's, it's I'm still chilly thing. though because the look at see you get you only you, you get a shirt on. Cold. I got a freaking yeah. shirt and a sweatshirt on here. I just took I just took my sweatshirt off. I see. Okay, <laughs> just, just, I got just it. for the show. I it's, got it. Okay, it's, good. It's a little cool, but uh, yeah. hey. So last week when we did our segment, there was a tiger that rode in afterwards. Yeah, and he asked if the patterns that that you know we talk about here, uh, the patterns that I use and I teach, if they're yes. present at market tops. So I thought we'd do today is just take a look at the last several years, try to answer that question cool. for this uh, tiger. And so to start with, uh, here is the Dow. So we're just going to take a look at the Dow. Last week we were talking about the Dow. Uh, that was really what the question was about was the Dow. And uh, what's the matter? We don't have my screen. Oh, that's interesting. Give me a second here, Tom. Let's see if this works. There we go. Okay, so now we should have my screen. Perfect. Yes. So yep. now we can take a look at it. Okay, so in 2022, the actual high for 2022 came in on January 5th of 2022. To answer this tiger's question, there was a TD9 count top that was present at that high. When we get our normal October uh, rally uh, out here, that came in on October 13th. And that came in with the Rhodes Mintum Indicator Bottom. Now, that was not what the question was. The question was basically the high for the year, uh, at, at the highs for the year, are any of the tools that I use present at those tops? And so the answer to that question was yes. We got a nice real rally, really nice rally, off that October low that we can see here. And that topped out on December 1st. And that was a Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top. So that's got uh, two of the patterns that we take a look at that were present in 2022. If we go back to 2021, the Dow didn't top until November 8th of, of 2021. But the pattern that was present was a TD9 count top. So the answer to that question for 2021 is yes. At the market high during that year, there was uh, one of my patterns. Now, we'll see my other patterns throughout the newsletter, but I'm just focusing on this uh, Tiger's question. Yes. The question, uh, then we take a look at 2020. The high didn't come in until December 31st out there. So in that case, uh, there was no pattern that was present at the ultimate high for 2020. We can see TD9 count tops back here in June. That led to a retracement, another one in September. And that September one ended up uh, forming I mean, that October bottom with a buy the D point pattern, patterns that you and I discuss. If we take a look at 2019, the high didn't come in until December 21st, tw I'm sorry, December 27th of 2019. And uh, there was no topping signal or anything that was present at that stage. If we take a look at 2018, the actual high for the year came in on October 3rd. And that high had generated a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. 
We take a look at the high uh, that came in in January. That was a TD9 count top. We can see Rhodes Mintum indicator bottoms, TD9 count bottoms at the lows. If we take a look at the typical October uh, low that we have, much like we've got this year, that was on October 29th. That was a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. So we can say to that uh, tiger, yes, uh, these patterns are present at uh, tops, are also present at bottoms. In 2017, the high didn't come in until, until December 18th of 2017. That did actually have a Rhodes Mintum indicator top that was present at that stage. In 2016, the high came in on December 15th. That was a TD9 count top. We can also see during the year, we can see two other Rhodes Mintum indicator tops, one back in looks like the April time frame, another in the August time frame that's out there. If we go to 2015, the actual high came in on May 20th, 2015. That was a TD9 count top. We had a nice rally off of a uh, bottom in, uh, in uh, August of that year. That formed a Rhodes Mintum indicator top out there. So that takes us to where we're at today. So the answer to the question, is yes, uh, my tools are present at tops. That doesn't mean when one of those tools triggers a topping signal that that's going to be the ultimate top, but they are present at tops. But that takes us to where we're at today. And when we take a look at where we're at today, and it really just kind of uh, follows up to what you were saying at the opening of your show, I don't have any kind of a top here in the Dow. Not today, I don't have a top. But there could be a TD9 count top. Certain things have to happen between tomorrow and uh, Thursday of next week. Uh, I'm sorry, Thursday of this week. So just to recap here, from the 126-year seasonal cycle, the Dow has entered its final, we're over on the right-hand side here, yeah. it's entered its final bullish uh, cycle here. That typically ends right around January the 5th. So this is the average over the 126-year period. This is a weekly line chart for the Dow and the semis. And if we take a look at those vertical lines, you'll see that the Dow is not going to top without the semis topping as well. So it's important to understand what's going on there. If I take a look at the semis, just like the Dow, they do not have topping patterns today. They could, they've got a bunch of work to do, but they could form TD9 count tops by Wednesday. This is the Dow is at new all-time highs, folks, in terms of dollars, euros, yen, pounds, and Aussie dollars. That's as of this morning. That's a real bullish market. Because on all those traders' desks, they're at new all-time highs. They're not sellers. They're buyers. Lastly, here's the Dow. Here's the daily, the weekly, and the monthly chart. This really is suggesting potential caution as we come into the beginning of the year out there. Kind of fits with that January 5th-ish type cycle high. And what I mean by that is on a weekly basis, we're likely to get a TD9 count top that comes in play at the end of this year. So... The mastering probability tools, just to answer that question, they are present at top software. You know, you know what's so cool, Steve? That, folks, it, it, all of us, we love this business because it's life's a mystery to be lived, not a problem to be solved. And that, totally. That is so freaking cool, man. Totally. <laughs> I mean, seriously, totally. right? Yeah. Absolutely. Have a great one, man. Okay. Right. Take care, Tom.